Hello, and welcome to Listen. I would like to introduce you to my first guest. And your name is? Shakia Wheeler. Shakia Wheeler. I'm glad you're here on the set today. So what are we going to talk about? I would like to talk about motherhood, single motherhood. Single motherhood. That's a good topic. So what is it that you want to discuss? I would like to discuss, um, I have two kids. Um, my first kid name is Antonio. He's four. My second is Gabrielle. He, she is five months. Um, I would just like to discuss um, the emotions, you know, that mothers, single mothers feel every day, in everyday life to try to strive to actually make sure their kids are okay. And that's good. Now, your, ki your children, are they in school? Yes. Um, my son is Antonio Drummond. He goes to a school in Woodbury. Um, I like the school. He's been there for a year. I never had any issues. Okay, and Gabrielle? Gabrielle, she's soon to go to a new daycare. You know, she's a new baby, and like new babies, us mothers, we want to actually make sure that our kid is being taken care of. So we have, I have done my research, and I'm looking to put her in a nice daycare. Okay. Now, being a young mother, let's talk about education. What are you doing? I actually go to school for massage therapy. Um, I think it's an interesting career. Um, okay. I'm actually done almost. I have three classes before I graduate with my certification. Your certification, your certification is going to help you do what? Um, I actually want to start off small, like a hand in stone, and want to move off big. Because with the certification and my and my skill, I can actually start off in a career move. Okay, now what is it that you would like to tell young women who are in a position that you are? Um, I just want to tell them that you don't matter. Don't let the lows get you down, and they can get you down. You know, being a single mother, we go, we struggle every day. Doesn't matter if it's with Pampers or it's with school tuition. Being a single mother, we struggle. Just don't let it get you down. You know, you do your little cry and you move on because you have to be strong for your kids. So my advice would don't let the lows get you down. Don't let the lows get you down. That's a very good advice for young people today. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, no, but I want to thank you for having me on your show, Dr. Garrett. And you're welcome. I would like to introduce you to my next guest. And you are? Kenya Garrett. Kenya Garrett. Kenya Garrett, what are we going to talk about? Uh, <laughs> whatever it is you want to talk about. I mean, I'm open for discussion, so. All right. she ask me something. <laughs> and, and that's okay. Now, your mother? Yes. A mother of five, five children, educated. Yes. You went to what? Oh, well, I went to. I graduated from Pennsylvania High. Um, I went to Pinco Tech and graduated from Medical Administrative Assistant. I did a year in Shire, and I just got accepted to Rowan University for Business Administration. So. Okay, yeah. so you're career minded, and you're going forward. With so yeah. you are a single mother. Yes. Okay. Now, um, what are some detail information you would like to talk about? Like as far as um, your, your kids, they're in school, right? Yeah. Um, okay. My oldest is 15. Um, he's a little big kid. I'm very proud of him. Um, he's in my East Boo from day one. I love him. Um, I got a 12-year-old. Uh, that's my little princess. She's my first little girl. She, she's just very eccentric. She's crazy. I love her. She's okay. crazy. Um, I got an eight-year-old. Um, he's like the most genuine. Um, he, he is. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Like nothing. His mother means everything. So he definitely make things better um, on rough days. He do. 
Um, I got little Kenya. That's my Benny Mae. She's my baby doll. She's full of hugs and kisses. Okay. Then my little ballerina, you know. Then I got my macho. His name is Jerron. He's three. That's my little. That's my little. That's my East Blue too. You know. He's 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 his mommy's baby. So I got a, a little basketball team. It sounds <laughs> like it. Sounds like it. So um, I know that times are rough for you as a young woman and you have five kids. What is it that you would like to say to other young women in your position? And if you don't mind, can you give a little detail about how you got to the point you are now? Briefly. Well, um, for one, you leave these Negroes alone. Don't trust them. <laughs> you know, uh, independence is key. Uh, education is also key. Um, I feel as though if you love yourself, you can better yourself. And when you better yourself, you know, you can actually strive to do the things that you need to do as a woman or as a single parent to take care of what you need to take care of. Um, I had a little rough patch. Um, you know, I just came home from almost a year in the county jail. Um, so I'm restarting everything over and trying to get things back in order. That's a good thing. Um, but I take it day by day. You know, nothing's going to happen overnight. I didn't wake up and have everything that I had. It took time. So I know it's going to take time to rebuild. So um, I'm ready for it, though. Like I said, I just got to accept the ruin. So one thing at a time. You know, I got to further my education, better it a little bit, um, reconnect with myself. You know, because so you lose understand. yourself when you go through something as tragic as I went through. Um, so, pretty much, I guess once I get those ducks in a row, I can focus on the other testing. You know, and all while I'm doing this, I still have to comfort my children and let them know that things are going to be okay and that your mommy's not knocked out of the game. You know, it's just I was I was knocked down, but I'm getting up and I'm dusting off and I'm ready to finish the race. So. A lot, but I'm getting through it. Well, I just want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Okay? And I'm going to end this segment. And um, we're definitely going to invite you back. And we're going to talk about more, okay? And I want okay. to thank you, Kenya. You're welcome. Okay. Again, I am Dr. Garrett, and we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Listen. I would like to introduce you to my next guest. And your name is? Hi, my name is Rashawn, Rashawn Garrett. Rashawn Garrett. Yes. Interesting, how old are you? I'm 31, I'll be 32 on November 8th. Okay, do you have any children? Yes, I have one. One of them passed away, I had a daughter. She passed away due uh, premature lungs at birth. I have a oh, son. Yeah. I have a son, he's uh, 10, he'll be 11 in August. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you proud daddy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. and, and that's wonderful for all proud daddies. Um, so, what is it that you would like to talk about today? Uh, yes, I'm starting a business uh, from the ground up called My Life in Ink. It's about uh, arts, all sorts of arts, actually. I want to expand more as I go through with time. But uh, I'm a tattoo artist, I'm a producer, oh. I write music, I write R&B music, I uh, mix down tracks for uh, local artists. Uh, I'm the go-to guy for just about anything, from home remodeling to anything that got to do with arts. I'm, I'm, I'm that dude. Well, I'm excited to hear that as a young man in this society today and you creating your own business and um, also producing, helping other young men like yourself. Yeah. Um, you said uh, producing what, music, yes. rap? Um, you wanna tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, right now I deal with a couple different artists from you know where I'm from the hood, how everybody stereotype it. But uh, a lot of people that really can't afford to get out there and uh, and go be hurt by spending money in the studio. So a lot of people actually hit me up 
that know me and they'll ask me, can I record for them? And I'll record and give uh, as much influence as I can on just the music business and music in, in whole. I always took a lot of music classes as a young kid and growing up and um, always dealt with a lot of different things in and out of the music things and studying the music field. Mm. So what were some of the instruments you played? I played uh, saxophone. Saxophone. I also played the drums. I also played the piano. Played a, a lot of different instruments growing up. Very talented. Mm. So I'm very anxious to hear some of your lyrics or your music <laughs> that you play. Is there something you want to like spit out? All right, let's put it this way. All right, I, I got some bars, but I, let's see. Since this is a, a show for listen, I would. Cause I would I would like to reach out to a lot of the people that's in the same shoes as me. A lot of individuals that uh, been locked up, came home, and feel like they there's nothing out here left for them, or there's no way or no outlet for them, and they feel as though they don't have no gifts or no trades, and they can't get out there. But all you gotta do is reach in your bag. Look at me. I go on Google. If if I can search it, I can learn it. And I watch a couple videos, I learn it, and I get into it. If you get into something, just get into it. So I'm gonna spit some bars. To, uh, t hopefully I can touch people with these bars. And um, it's not edited, so I'm gonna I'm spit it slowly so it can be clean and there won't be no curses in it. So <laughs> Which probably can be some more things for suitable the song. for the song. Sounds for good. For the show. Okay. okay. I said. All I know is struggle. All I know is pain. All I know is time to break you in this game. All I know is change. Better do it while you young, boy. Said most of my people's gone and they ain't get to have no fun, boy. All I feel is drama. All I feel is stress. Keeps me feeling down, but at the same time, I am blessed. Baby mama's tripping. She won't let me be a father. So I bow my head and close my eyes and ask the father. All you really did is so then why this karma? I know I did some bad, but I ain't never had no father. Blame that on my sponsor, cause he was never there. Never taught me how to give a, because he never cared. Now I'm living with no fears, and I've been in and out of jail cells. Judge be knowing when he see me that I'm hell bound. Riding on my enemies, distant from my friends. Family want the best for me, but there's no helping hands. But if my fans only knew the half, it ain't as all what it looks, it's real in it. Real, they would read this as like a book, but if you knew the half, said if my fans only knew the half, that's, that's. That's wonderful. That's a good outlook for young <laughs> people to, to understand, especially those who understand the lyrics. I'm the old school. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Teddy Pendergrab and uh, Temptations. No, I'm, I'm all for that. But you know what? Young people today need to look up and understand exactly what you're saying to them. They they listen, and that's a good thing. This is why I'm here today, Dr. Garrett, at Listen. And if those who feel in the same way can always come to listen, pick up the phone, dial 856-381-1868. Or go to my website, listen50.vpweb.com. Thank you.